welcome to a new video. Today um, I want to show a little workflow which can be used to automate things for photographers or if you have to edit uh, lots of images and you want to remove the background. This is meant for um, images which um, make it possible for the AI to um, see what is background and what is foreground and see what what we want to remove. So this is not working for really abstract images or images which, uh, which are not clear um, separated. Most optimal for uh, best used with images, uh, which for example are done in the studio and you want to simply remove the studio background and want to replace it with a white background or a neutral or the same background or you want to further edit those images. So especially this is for if you have a big bunch of photos and want to automatically uh, remove backgrounds um, in a quite clear setting. So yeah, it is good for, um, for example, fashion images with a, with a model in front of a studio uh, canvas or it might even be better for uh, electronic products or um, other product photos um, which where, where the product um, has a quite clear outline so it can be really simple uh, separated from the background so let's start uh, we first have to load the images into ConfiUI. For this uh, we are using uh, the custom node, uh, the WAS suite. Um, I will put the link to this uh, custom node package into the video description as always and you have to install it. For this tutorial we only need uh, this package and not more custom nodes. So let's load our images. There it is. Um, this node uh, loads one image after another. So we, if you want to um, process all our images, we have to increment our index. If we don't want to do it per hand and let ComfyUI handle this for, for us, we need to automatically set the increment setting. For this, uh, we need to right click on index and convert it to a input so that we can pipe uh, a value into it. So convert index to input and then when we have this we can double click on index and it will give us our value setting and also how it will be handled by ConfiUI. So we can set it to fixed, it will not change then. We can set it to increment, it will increment and so on. We can choose the different settings for us it's important that it is set to increment and every value will re represent um, the next image so zero is the first one is the second and so on this will be um, increased after one processing run so then let's do our preview image um, that I can show you what kind of images I've generated to test this workflow. And as a last thing, we need to specify uh, the path where the node will uh, load our images. I have generated a bunch of images for this workflow and we can have a look at it now should work. So you see those are some standard fashion pictures you can you will find in any hip hop store online. Um and we will use this as a base to to test things. So for this now we want to remove our background. For this, we uh, we will use another node from the was node suit, um, 
it's called RAM for remove and BG for remove background. So I have another package installed here, which also does this, but I find uh, the the node from the was node suit does it much better because uh, you can specify more settings. So we will use this one. You can try the other one as well. Uh, I can link it uh, below uh, um, as well. It's a, a little bit simpler, but maybe it works for you better. So uh, in this case, we check uh, we we check this one. We have to pipe this into a preview node. And now you have different settings. The transparency we um, want to to be true. The model is important. Uh, you have to try this. Um, depending on your images. For this type of image, I find the ISNET general use model is working best. Um, I also like to use post-processing and the alpha matting setting. This, uh, I find, gives me the best result for this kind of image. Um, you really have to try for yourself with your images. And that should do the trick. You can see the inc uh, the number got incremented here. So it's now at six. We can try this again. It should get a uh, removed background now. So. So for this, it's working quite well. Um, it's really, it's an automated process and uh, you might have to uh, edit some parts of those images. For example, here is a little corner which was missed out. But for many cases, this can be a great help uh, if you have simple images and simply have, for example, thousands of images of products also um, you have to process. This can help you a lot and you will spend much less time with the process for yeah high quality high resolution images this might not be the process but yeah you have to try it out uh, for me this works quite well so we want to save those images now for this we can use another was note sweet note um, And there you can um, specify a folder name or a, a complete pass to the folder you want to save them in. And you can um, specify a file name prefix and the delimiter and some more options. So this will save the images into your folder you specify. So now to process all your images in one run, we need to set this setting to zero, the index. Need to have the increment setting uh, active. And we need to activate our extra extra options in Comfy UI and set auto query to on. So this will um, start again when every process is ended. So it will begin uh, again after every processing. Uh, this, um, if, if all images are processed, this will give us an error because there will not be any images more left to process. And yeah, then we are done. So let's try this. So we have our error message. This is absolutely no problem. It just tells us there is no, no images left. So we can close it. And that's it. I think uh, this type of workflow is really different than what most people use Comfy UI with, but it's really powerful. And you can utilize it for many, many uh, um, things. 
you can change the color, you can uh, add a background, you can resize, you can upscale, you can do lots of things uh, which are ima image based or sequence based. So um, this is really powerful. Um, I think I will do some more uh, tutorials um, on this in the future because there is so much uh, more possible with this. So stay tuned, um, subscribe and comment down below uh, if you like this or what you want to see uh, in the future. And I hope uh, I will see you again soon. Bye bye.